a violent armed robbery, this time at a flea market. It happened at the Orange Blossom Trail Flea Market around 7.15 last night. Orange County Sheriff's deputies say two men armed with guns walked up to a woman and demanded all of her money. When she told them she didn't have any, they demanded the keys to her vehicle and she handed them over. Deputies say the robbers did the same thing to a man at the flea market, except they pistol whipped him in the process. The robbers then locked the victims in a storage building, hopped in the victims' vehicles, and drove away. If you have any information that can help find these guys, call the sheriff's office. Oh, what's going on, peoples? Didn't see you there. Deep Crates hitting you up. Season 6, Episode 3, the letter C. That's right. C stands for Kuth. And if I didn't have Kuth, I wouldn't be putting slices of coriander and orange in my beer. So shout outs to everybody that's got Kuth. If you don't know what it is, like my cameraman, you can always Google it, Wikipedia, whatever you guys do. So let her see anyway. We're listening to what maybe started Deep Crates digging, Ron Carter. If it wasn't for Ron Carter and this actual record coming out of Turtle Hand's grandma's basement in the early 90s, I might not have ever been digging. My dream's always been to find an upright bass at a cheap price and buy it. Even though I've tried to learn to play just regular bass like three times in my life and other than like Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath and Sweet Leaf, I can't really hold the bass line. But Ron Carter, C is for Ron Carter. This gentleman is amazing. If you don't know Ron Carter, check him out. Anyways, Turtle Hands brought this record over, gave it to me, and I listened to it, and we would often listen to it and take these little square pieces of paper with Beavis and Butthead on them and uh, just talk over this shit, telling jokes, making up stories, real life shit, rhyming, just anything you could think of. Ron Carter. So big ups to Ron Carter. What else is C for? C is for Captain Power. If you don't know about Captain Power and the soldiers of the future, perhaps you should. He used to fight the evil Lord Dread with like Major Hawk Masterson and Lieutenant Tank Ellis. Anyways, Captain Power was like a 3D game where you actually shot back at the TV and shit and got points and things like that. This is the interlocker, unopened, never opened, sealed. Yeah. Brought it out to the vintage event last week. Nobody was biting. What else is C4? How about Crikey's? And since we couldn't get Crocodile Dundee, we got the next best thing. Miss JoJo sent over the Steve Irwin Crocodile Hunter doll. He even talks too. Presses pocket. We work hard at saving endangered animals. G'day, I'm Steve Irwin. What a ripper! What a ripoff. Crocs rule. Danger, danger, danger. Danger, danger, danger. Rest in peace, Mr. Irwin. No jokes aside, he passed away. One of my favorites, Miss JoJo, big ups. We couldn't get uh, Paul Hogan here, so we got Steve Irwin's action figure. What else is C for? Let me see, I made some samples. C is for Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. If you don't know about Cadillacs and dinosaurs, where the hell were you during the first three months of 1993? The very unsuccessful, yet critically acclaimed by me, short-lived series of Cadillacs and dinosaurs. Here's uh, Jack Tenrack's um, Grappling Claws and Boulder Bombs glider. We also got uh, his love interest, I believe, Hannah Dundee. Yeah, if you didn't know, Jack Tenrack and Hannah Dundee used to drive around in a Cadillac. Now some people might say this is collectible, you really shouldn't open this. But, it's pretty cool, it comes with this shovel. So, that's a J Palace guard. Or maybe it's a missile. It looks like a shovel, so we'll, oh yeah, it's her crossbow. Back when toys shot shit. But, um, yeah, here's Hannah Dundee. 
If you don't know Hannah Dundee, she's a scientist and diplomat from the nearby city of Wasoon. She was sent to the city in the sea to set up trade relations with Jack Tenrat. Yeah. Cadillacs and dinosaurs, the letter C. What does C also stand for? Compilations? Compilations like maybe this one. 20 explosive hits by 20 original artists. A lot of people shit on compilation albums and say they're not any good, this and that, but you can learn a lot from compilation albums. I mean, think about it. On here, there's two, four, six. There's over 22 groups on this record. And check this song out. Is this original or no? Let, let me know. You know this song, Bananarama. Venus, God is on a mountain top. You know this song, right? If you were roller skating in the early 90s, late 80s. God is on the Yeah, baby, she's got it. Okay, so we hear that joint, right? I find this compilation album. Let's hear what I found. Ready? God is on a mountain top, burning like a silver flame. Compilations. We're gonna go take a look at the covers of some compilations and maybe play a couple joints, you know what I'm saying? She is for compilations. You learn about mad different artists and you'll know who you like and who you don't like, and then when you see their individual shit, you buy it or you don't. Compilations, the letter C, coming at you, deep crates. C is for crates, and we'll see you next week after this piece. joint for you. Check this one out. It's a little heavy. Let's go check out them compilation albums, shall we? The letter C brought to you by The Crate Show. Other way around.
time and some chops to gang bangs. Right. Between two sides, I couldn't do riding things. Right. Throwing up gang signs and sipping on cheap wines and Cisco. Shootouts at the disco. I maintain two gang through the hard times. Without my nine or a four five. And I'm a LA nigga, so fuck the stereotypes. Media misplaced the truth, and now the turmoil is right for the picking. Sticking to the wrong head, and now the rap world is dead as the headlines. Well, there's so much drama in the industry. Kinda hard for a nigga to be a real MC, but uh, somehow I'm still sparking. With more styles than I did in the aisles at the market. I mean, the Liverpool Imperial from the Miracle Mile. Listen to the fat flows while these dollars are piled like. Wasn't true.